Hi, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I have a great project for you today. Take a look at this quilt behind me. I know this looks tricky, but this is so simple. You are going to love this. This is easy. So you guys know I love blue and white anyway, and, um, and I have a big dish collection of blue and white, and this reminds me of that. I just, it's just so much fun for me. So to make this quilt, you're going to need four packets of five inch squares, 42 squares in each, and you're going to need four of these. And we used the Blue Bell by Nancy Gear for Wyndham. Just a gorgeous line of fabric. You're also going to need four packets of pre-cuts, five inch squares that are a solid. This is going to be your background fabric that you're going to set your blue football shape onto. Um, we also have this uh, football shape template and I mean it just works perfect for this job and it's called Circle Magic Plus. And you're going to need some fusible interfacing. This is because I'm going to show you a super easy way to do applique and it uses this fusible. You're going to look for something really lightweight that has fusible on one side only. So, and you'll need probably about eight yards of that. So let me show you how to make this block. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our blue fabric and you can actually stack these and cut, you know, two or three of them at a time. We're going to lay our template, our Circle Magic Plus template, diagonally right across it. And we're going to go ahead and cut that out. And you just want to go slow and keep your rotary blade right along the edge of the template. It's a little different when you're cutting curves but your normal rotary cutter will, should work with this. And you just go all the way around and your piece should look like this when you're finished. It'll look like this little template, little football. Now we're going to do the same thing with our interfacing. So we'll get our interfacing out and interfacing is very thin so you can actually cut several of these at a time with the interfacing. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to cut right around it like this. And then we're going to pull this around and cut up this side. There we go. And this is a super cool way for doing um, any kind of applique that you want to do. This makes it quick and easy with no mess and it gives you the look of needle turn. So now you have your fabric and your interfacing all cut out and what we're going to do is we're going to lay our fabric down. We're going to take our interfacing and we're going to feel for the bumpy side. The bumpy side is going next to the fabric. I know that sounds a little crazy but trust me on this, it works. We're going to line it up on there and we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside edge, completely enclosing it. So let's go over here and do that. Make my chair here a little bit. There we are. Make sure it stays lined up. Mine got a little wonky in my travels to come over here. There we go. And I lay my presser foot along the edge and I just sew straight off the end and then bring it back and come straight up the other side. So put your little presser foot right along the edge of it. just like that. And then we have this piece right here. It's completely sewed. And, and uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to trim this end right here. And I'm just trimming it, not cutting through the stitches at all, but trimming it so it's a little closer because I'm going to turn it. I'm going to flip it. So to do that, I lift these fabrics so they're away from each other and I'm going to cut a V in the interfacing and I'm just going to cut a big slit in here to make it a little easier. And then we're going to turn it right sides out. So I reach in here for the corner and I push that corner out on both ends. And then I run my finger along this seam so it stays nice and curvy. I'm going to close my scissors or use your purple thing or something like that for these points. You want to try to get the points pretty nice and pointy. And then you have this piece right here, but what you'll notice is by turning it around, now the fusible is on this side. So that's when you take your piece of background fabric, your five inch square, and you're going to line up your little football shape on there, and we're going to press that down. All right, so now we're just ironing this down on here. 
and to hold it in place. That's going to hold it in place. You want to make sure that your points are a quarter of an inch away from the edges so that you can um, so that you can take your seam in there because we're going to sew these together. All right, so there's our finished little peel and we need to go stitch around it. I like to use a blanket stitch. So I'm going to go over here to my machine and I'm going to find my blanket stitch and I am going to go ahead and stitch that and just stitch right along the edge. If you make your blanket stitch fairly narrow, you really can hardly see the stitches and then it looks really like it's been um, hand applique on there. But this is a great way to put applique on because you know all you do is your mach you machine sew around it and flip it and it gives you nice clean edges. Looks like you did all that hard needle turn work. All the work without or all the look without the work. All right. Now here is our little finished block right here. How cute is that? I mean, that's a darling. Then you're gonna put these together in a four patch. So I have some other ones done here and we're gonna put these together so that all the points point to the middle. And this is our four patch right here. So we're going to go ahead and put this together and stitch a quarter inch seam right down the side. Just like this. And it gets pretty close to that peel on the bottom, but that's all right. And then we'll press this back right here. And I'm going to press this one as well. And then you just put these together with all your points pointing to the middle, just like you would a four patch. So you have this little seam here in the middle and you just wanna turn those right sides together and nest that seam up and sew that together. Isn't this fun? Right. Now you've got your uh, you've got your square your block sewn together, just like that. And you're going to be able to just sew rows together. And you really just sew them right to each other. See how that works? Just like that. And then you just add your next row on. There's no sashings, no nothing. You want them to meet. And it makes kind of these circular patterns that circle in and out around. I mean, it just looks gorgeous. So once you get your four patches together, you're going to put six across the top and seven down. And it's going to make a quilt that's about 65 by 74. As much as I love blue and white, I wanted to see what it was going to look like in a different fabric. So I put together this little table runner right here. And I mean, I think it's just darling, no matter what fabric you use, this is a really fun quilt. They're commonly called um, pumpkin seed quilts or orange peel quilts or football quilts, whatever you call them. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I loved making this quilt and I love the blue and white. And I've been collecting blue and white dishes for probably 130 years and I just got to wondering, what do you guys collect? So tell me about it in the comments. Thanks for watching.